Maldives President Abdullah Yamin has described his deputy as a threat to national security, after his arrest over an alleged assassination attempt last month. Mr Yamin claimed bomb-making materials had been found during raids on Ahmed Adib's associates. The president was unhurt in the blast on his speedboat, which left his wife and two others slightly injured. In recent years, the Maldives has been rocked by political infighting. The vice president is being detained for the safety and security of the entire nation, Mr Yamin said in a televised address. He said the investigation pointed to links between Mr Adib and two soldiers who were arrested for tampering with evidence on the boat soon after the blast. President Yamin and his wife were traveling to the capital mail from the island where the airport is located when the device went off under a seat normally, but not in this instance, occupied by Mr Yamin. Soon after the blast, speculation began to grow that Mr Adib was involved, reports said. Under the Maldivian constitution, the vice president succeeds the president if he dies, is incapacitated, or resigns. Mr Adib, who is among seven people being held for questioning, has denied any links to the explosion. A court ordered his detention for 15 days to give police more time to investigate. Earlier, the government said Mr Adib would be charged with high treason. But the president said he would not fire Mr Adib until his case had been decided by a court. Mr Adib became vice president in July at the age of 33. Mr Yamin was instrumental in his rise, sacking the previous vice president, also on charges of treason, and lowering the minimum age for the president and vice president from 35 to 30. The Maldives became a multi-party democracy in 2008 and is a popular upmarket tourist destination, but its image has suffered in recent years due to prolonged political unrest.